Hello, this is Alekius, and welcome to another episode of Warship Gunner 2 as Steel Fleet. Now, as you may have noticed, we got went from episode 72 to episode 74, because 73 ran into an error, and I was unable to recover it. So... Go back and play it manually. Now we did shoot down the flying super weapon 580, so I believe it is 593 and 600 that we need to go to do because we are on 615 right now. Yeah, we are on 615. So we missed those two in between missions. So this is the missing episode 73. It's redone as best we can. We're going to miss some of the in-between stuff, but not much is different for the brawn side of it compared to the previous one. All hands alert. Full speed but we miss out on the briefing and Secondary stuff, objective which is added. a shame. The objectives of this one is to investigate all four enemy research facilities on the islands, destroy the enemy forces. Alright, that should be enough, I hope, except for the Wyoming. And there's the ammunition. We'll wait to grab that though. Enemy battleship sunk. Reminds me I want to get rid of the drill missiles. A little too cumbersome to use. I believe it's right at this dock. Stop engine. This research site hasn't been investigated yet. Please stop the engines and dispatch an investigation team. Reverse engine. Stop engine. Commencing investigation of point one. We will make contact with the advance team and acquire their data. What an enormous facility. Something very large must have been buried here. Investigation complete. Now head for the next point. Full speed ahead.
Wow, got wedged in there. Stop engine. Reverse engine. Stop engine. This research hasn't been any good. Oh, that's the same message as last time. Stop engine. Reverse engine. Stop engine. Is this a super weapon research facility? Investigation complete. Now head for the next point. Full speed ahead. Which we have a quick skip over to Oahu. Stop engine! Reverse engine! Stop engine! It's unusual to see multiple facilities installed in the same sector. Investigation complete. Missiles get there faster than the torpedoes, which do so much less damage. I feel like we should find something else to do with those slots. Out of 
some ammunition out of this, which is the disadvantage of using the frigate. Is ammunition issues, unlike the battleship, which has no ammunition issues. And harder hitting guns. A slow firing rate and less slots. It's hiding behind one of the islands. That's all we have to work with. Enemy reinforcement spotted. Stop engine. Reverse engine. Not for the fun part of the mission. Which we have a ship better equipped for this this time. They must have been conducting dangerous research to spread out their research sites this way. Investigation complete. Investigation complete. Let's hurry and join with the main force. Full speed ahead. I see one target that's on radar. guys had jammers on, so uh, was unable to walk on like this. Very annoying. Well, we really don't need to fight this out. Mission complete. Now, let's leave the area. We succeeded. That's the important part. Has ship parts. Oh yeah, there. I can't play the briefing. I forgot about that. Backwards. My apologies. These are the four super weapon excavation facilities currently confirmed to be on the Hawaiian Islands. Reconnaissance vessels are already en route to each site, but we have yet to receive any noteworthy updates. Enemy fleet presence is still confirmed in neighboring sectors. It would not be unusual at all for the enemy fleets to launch an attack if they want to prevent us from having that information. I am concerned for the fleets that went ahead. We should make rounds of all the sites as soon as possible. 
That would imply this mission is a race against time. We should choose weaponry that won't slow us down. However, there is no small risk of combat. Wouldn't we need some level of offensive power? Right, all hands begin battle preparations. Nice easy briefing. And then for the enemy blockade. <laughs> this is our ship's assigned sector. Do we have any information about the enemy fleet deployed in this sector? Yes, sir. It is the Yokosuka First Fleet under the direct command of Admiral Kimizuka. That's the core unit of the New Empire faction. Let's not get carried away. Our first priority is to keep casualties low. Since the Empire has chosen to offer complete resistance with their major fleets, we have no choice but to destroy them. We'll attempt to eliminate the main enemy fleets during this engagement and cripple their military command in Yokosuka. Lieutenant, do we have information about the structure and ship types of the enemy fleet? Its core strength is battleships, with secondary strength and aerial support from aircraft carriers and battle carriers. In a fleet battle, aerial forces with high mobility could be a greater threat than the battleship's guns. Might I recommend we take out the enemy aircraft carriers and battle carriers first to reduce the airborne threat to our allied forces if nothing else? The operation will begin at dusk. All hands prepare for battle. Can, can I change which ship? I go so fast I forget whether I can or not. Full speed ahead. All hands alert. Away my UFOs. Airborne units attack. Secondary objective added. Miss the frigate. This is a fast speed, 54 knots. After zooming around with the frigate last mission, I I feel like I'm in the starter cruiser. So slow. using our UFOs to vector in on the enemy, and now they're within view range. Bearing shift right to left. And now we have achieved constant bearing decreasing range.
course they're using jammers. Oh yeah. And there we go. Mission complete. Now, let's leave the area. We miss out on the post mission dialogue, but that is as it is. Supersonic oxytorps, guided torps, a centimeter, supersonic, underwater, Japanese battleship, US battleship. We've unlocked any of them. No, they're still locked up. But we can update the battleship if. is appropriate. What do we got? Not enough. This battleship 7, also not enough. So the German battleship 6, what's winning up for us? I think we already updated the engines in episode 74 actual. I can't wait 
to get these installed. They're not that much better, but they are indeed better. Oh, turbines are better. Nice. Marginal improvement, but I'll take it. And yeah, 51 centimeter plane. Yep, that's everything for the carrier. I mean the battleship. I am thinking about the carrier. We can at least take a look and see what the super carrier looks like. So we did earn it last time in the lost episode 73, but we never actually went to go use it. So we have two now. And eight big. fit that. Take that ammunition depot and move it back. Then we get the catapults lined up. Drill missiles really. So we've seen that's not exactly amazing. However, We don't exactly have torpedoes, because this is a carrier. Can we get another bridge? Oh, we did. And it's also big. I might not want to use it. 6226. 6226. So relatively similar. Those are the only real choices. Yeah. And I don't mind having one smaller so that we can have more stuff on the sides. I can try to fit it. Sacrifice a little, but we can make it. Throw on a little bit more Azrock. We have the cruise missile launchers, we have the drill missiles. I am curious. 
Yeah, that's Azrock. 335, drill, cruise. That's all the stuff we do want. And gun, we already want those. Rapids are kind of antiquated now. The high velocity is good. Would love to use the AGS. But we're still limited on that. Missiles is where I really think we have an opportunity. That's 180 damage through armor. But the VLS system is 500 without the reduction in armor. Longer reload time, which doesn't really bother us. Shorter ranged. A lot fewer rounds, but more compact. Like, there's reasons. Oh, and the anti ship missiles are a thousand. Let's install some anti ship VLS and see what happens. Question is where to squeeze it in. So that we have plenty of ammunition. As if five or six ammo depots don't accomplish that. There we go. The symmetry pleases me. But I'm not hung up on perfect symmetry. And we have the way we can stick oodles of engines on here. Systems wise, we do have a set of upgrades we need to get done. Because a lot of this has all been updated. Maybe system 4. We have 5. Right. ECCM. I do like that. Auto reload, auto countermeasures, auto fire extinguisher because it's a carrier. Electron targeting, we can ditch that and instead put on Aegis. That way we can take out a bunch of stuff. And we have the ECCM, so we can burn through their targeting, or their jamming, which is the important part. And we can stick stupid amounts of armor on here and still maintain our 53 knots. Outstanding. Wow, that's kind of antiquated. PBJ, depth charge twos, and dig. S12 Seeker, which is the one we have. That is literally the best we have. Wow. Move that there. Attack helicopter, we have limited anti-sub helicopters. We have a 
few. Prepare to sub missile, two rounds, 80 damage, two rounds, 80 damage, two rounds, 80 damage, two rounds, four rounds, 80 damage. But it's faster, but weaker. Throw one in there just to reserve the slot. We don't need the attack helicopter. We got the bomber, the fighter, and the interceptor. Mostly I want the bombers. But I do want to throw on a few raptors. We'll throw on a few Su 37s. and as many bombers as we can fit. That, I think, is a decent carrier. And yeah, we have lots of weight limit left, but what are we gonna use it on? Next slot of armor puts us over 80,000, which is a bit more than we can really handle. And there we go, super carrier, with stuff all over the deck, which is highly inappropriate for a carrier. <laughs> But so be it. And we have our frigate. We have a few other vessels we might throw in there, but I'm going to leave that for another time. With this, I'm going to call it here. So, I hope you enjoyed. Appreciate you staying to the end. Please leave a comment, let me know what you think, and I will see you all next time. Take care, everyone.